is the second day curls. So that's why it looks like this. And then second thing is I dyed it. So now it's like a reddish color and I'm really loving it. I don't think this light is doing it any justice. Here's what it looks like, if you can really tell. So uh, today I'm going to be doing my September favorites and let's just go ahead and get into it. So the first thing is my foundation. It's the Rimmel London Clean Finish Foundation and I love this stuff. My sister showed me this stuff and um, ever since they showed it to me I've been loving it and haven't went back to my old one. So yeah. The second thing I've been loving recently is my Boink Concealer by Benefit. Just to, like touch up anything during school. If my makeup's starting to come off, I can just touch it up real quick. Okay, and then the next thing I've been loving is my e.l.f. blush, guys. I can't describe to you how much I love blush. Just like the, like, the color of blush on cheeks, like the pinkness is just, I just love it. And if I go without it, I don't feel good about myself. So blush is definitely, once I got into it, guys, I could not stop. So if you're not wearing blush and if you want to get into it, just fair warning, you probably won't be able to stop. This is by e.l.f. and it is in Pink Passion. And I just picked this up just to see if I could like to blush on me. Then I was like, okay, I'll get a better brand. But actually, this is really good. So so for the eyes, I have been loving my Naked 3 by Urban Decay palette. Um, I don't know what it is. Like, right whenever I got it, I was like, eh. But now, I've just been loving it so much. Um, yeah, I just really love this palette. Then, the next thing for eyes is... Eyeliner and I always used to wear like black eyeshadow as eyeliner and just put it on like a little brush thing and just like kind of do that. But then I was like, okay, this is starting to look too matte, it doesn't look cleanish. So I was like, I'll just do black eyeliner and go over with liquid stick since like I said it liquid eyeliner and I knew it did. So I would just like have, so I would just like line it over, you know. But now, um, since I've been doing that, now I just use this and don't have to worry about the black eyeshadow. But this is by Jessie's Girl, and it looks like this, and I got it out of my glam bag, and I really love it. Um, yeah, it's very easy to apply for beginners, since I don't normally suck at it. This is just very easy to do. Next thing for eyes is the CoverGirl Flamed Out Mascara. I've heard good and bad things about this, but I figured I would just try it out for myself. And the brush is kind of quite big, actually, and it does lengthen a little bit. But mainly it just gives black and volume, but I don't know if it's supposed to lengthen or do volume, but it does a little bit of both, so I really like this mascara. And the packaging, let's just take a moment, is really freaking cute. Okay, the last thing for eyes is my CoverGirl, would you call this a palette? CoverGirl Quad um, eyeshadow, and it is in, okay, I peeled off the thing, but it was in like coffee something. I think it's like in coffee shop or something like that. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's in Coffee Shop. And it looks like this. And these colors are perfect for fall time. You just have like a brown and like a lighter brown, goldish color. Then you have yellow and then white. So you could just bring this somewhere with you and it has your whole look um, that you want to do. Okay, and the last things are the lips. So I've been having four lip products that I'm using and loving for the month of September. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and just... I don't really know where to start, but the first one is the Color Whisperer, Color Whisperer by Maybelline, and it is in Mad for Magenta, and I'm actually wearing it right now. I got this last year, and I just kind of fell out of it after fall ended, and now I'm just loving it again. I have my MAC lipstick in, in Candy Yum Yum, and I don't know, like, this is more like of a summer spring color, but I've still been using it for September just because I'm not ready to put it away yet. And then the last lipstick I have is my Sephora lipstick, and this does not have a name. It just says 2061A, um, and it's like a Barbie doll pink, and I really love it. Um, it's just like a very, very light pink, and it applies just how it looks. It's like a whitish, pinkish Barbie doll look. And the last thing for my favorites this month is the NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel, and this is so like it doesn't apply sticky it applies buttery like it's called and I'll do a swatch and it has an amazing amazing pigmentation um so yeah this is just something to go over or you can wear it by itself sorry my phone keeps going off but um so those are my September favorites I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys very very soon in my next one
Bye, guys.